Hello, welcome to an episode of Spicy Tales podcast with Kim and Stacy. What up? Um, not much, just chilling. <laughs> uh, hope you guys are still following your New Year resolution. I'm not. I haven't gone to the gym. Me neither. I uh, haven't done my taxes. Okay, your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just now you're just out here fucking walling. I am walling. Um uh so I'll just go right into my you're just spicy. debating taxes this year as well. Yeah, well max a thousand. You're going to jail. It's a three pay month, so technically I should put my pay that I'm getting this week She's not aside. We'll see what happens. She's not gonna do that. But anyways, so my spicy tale is, so my bank is well simple. I don't, is this thing moving on me? Okay. I don't um, have TD. Well, actually, I do still have TD, but I don't have my checking account with TD anymore. Because if you don't have a certain amount in your checking account and you don't have a student account, then they charge you like 60 and something for like your checking account. Like 16 so that's $17. Yeah, $16.95. So yeah, $17, unless you have, I think, two or $4,000 in your checking account chilling there, which technically you shouldn't because if you have a s- other accounts, uh, you could be getting interest on your... Maybe it's just in the accounts in general instead of just the checking account because there's no couldn't tell you because i don't know that because there's no interest on my checking account there are there is interest in some savings accounts like a high interest savings account or whatever so i i moved everything to well simple i have a well simple card but now every time i get a check i have to i go to td to deposit the check because i don't think well simple has a actual bank building and uh so that's where i had to deposit my canada life check um but i don't have my debit card and if you have td or any bank really you walk in you put in your debit card you put your pin in and then you go from there so now i have to like they always have to ask me for a piece of id blah blah blah, but it's really not that big of a deal so i have well simple and i get uh live notifications from my well simple account so anytime there's a transaction i get a little pop up at the top of my screen to tell me what's going on. So I was chilling in my room watching The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City because I started another franchise because oh clearly I need help. <laughs> clearly. Uh, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Actually, uh, Lala and and what's her name? Lala and Katie from Vanderpumps. They're from Utah. And they actually show up in the first season of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. There's a, there is some sort of party happening and they know people, so they, they show up. Oh, because they're from there, okay. And um, so I'm watching uh, The Real Housewives on my phone, on my Hey You account, because my sister's not using it. And, well, your Hey, hey You account. And I see a pop-up on my screen and, screen and it's 10 p.m. I'm on my bed and there's a transaction. It says... Let me just read that shit out right now, actually, because I think I have a screenshot of it. And I was literally like, how? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Someone was trying to finesse you. It said. So this is. Oh, my God. I was so pissed off. Oh, my God. So it says at 10.05 p.m., you spend $25 at Petro Canada. That's 25 cents back. I'm like, what? I was so confused. Then 10 seconds later, at 10.06, it says you spent $250 at Petro Canada. That's $2.50 back. And then I just start, like, panicking because I'm like, how? Clearly, I'm not at Petro Canada. I'm on my bed. My boyfriend's sleeping right beside me. I, like, shake him, wake him out. Hey, wake his ass up. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, someone's using my card. Like, where's my card? And I realized that, so my boyfriend had... um rented a car on mon- on that Monday Mm-mm. to go to Costco. And so we went to Costco and he used my um he used my MasterCard which is the well simple card it's like a master debit card because at Costco if you don't know you can't use Visa you have to use either debit or MasterCard and if you want points then you use a credit card so I used my my card. So I knew on Monday that I had it. And then the Tuesday, he he um, returned the car. And 
And then on Wednesday, all of a sudden at a gas station, it's being used. So I'm looking on Well Simple, the Well Simple app to to find something that I can do. And then there's this feature where you can block the physical card or block the virtual card. So I blocked the phys physical charge. And then I started this um, dispute. dispute. And but it was like, yeah, you need to call and they're not open until eight to eight or something, eight to four, because they're not like TD where you can call them anytime. Anytime. So then so I'm like, OK, whatever. Obviously, they're not going to use it. And then I'm talking to my boyfriend and he's like, uh, I, I, I fucked up. And I'm like, how? And he said, I think I remember seeing it when I returned the car and I completely forgot to actually pick it up for some reason. So basically what happened is the new person that's using the car what that we brought back found person. the card and was like, oh, let me see if I can get gas. Tap, approved. Ooh, let me see if I can get some little snacky wackies. Tap, approved. What and then I blocked their ass after that. So they stole $50 from me and I felt so violated. I was like... Why is this happening to me? So you know when you get a go to gas and it pre-approves first and then it adjusts to what you actually so thankfully they didn't like fill it up or whatever, but it was actually $25 and then $26.50. So yeah, I was pissed. Person. And then I called my bank and they were just like, Yeah, like just fill out this form. So yeah, that they're sending me a new card. So look out, Kim, for a new card in the mail. Oh God, not this! I know. I hate. Honestly, I need to change my address, but I don't want to change my address because we live in an apartment and you live in a house. I so I rather so things bad. go there. But then I always have to wait until like I see you or something. I, mean, I see you once every two weeks, like guaranteed. minimum. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I did get another uh, credit credit card, TD credit card, and I don't know where that went. Well, I never came to the house. And then also now I'm thinking, I haven't had my physical TD credit card in forever, so now I'm, but I still tap my phone. Oh my God. So my boyfriend's like, you need to cancel that card or you have to keep like watching it like a creep to make sure that no one's using your cards because they don't have the notifications the way well simple does so yeah like i'm actually so annoyed with that person that decided to you because it went from a missing card to a stolen card because the second you picked up that card and tapped it like you that's stolen you stole my shit you're a thief you yes. are a thief and technically we could kind of find out who it is because it would be the same car that we rented yeah. so we could go to enterprise and be like yeah yeah like, like this person stole that. my card so maybe Charges we could get press. the name or whatever or like follow me on instagram or something or we'll listen to the podcast or something because like this is disrespectful I'm if funding you your little want, trip. If you don't want charges pressed, <laughs> you better fucking subscribe, okay? Don't like, fuck around. Like, I'm someone's sugar mama for their <laughs> trip? Like, what is happening? That's so messed up. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, that's my spicy tale. I was so freaking annoyed. But that's, how, that's definitely happened to me before. I literally was sitting on my bed, and I have TD Insight. Mm -hmm. So, like, you get all the notifications okay, when so you... Okay, you can. And I'm, like, literally laying on my bed, and it's like... Uh, bell mobility and i'm like bell mobility i'm like i don't have bell mobility i only the only bell service we have is the internet mm -hmm. so i'm like i know for a fact that it's not me so right. i'm like the fuck one transaction then another then another so i'm like calling the bank exactly. trying to get it i was so annoyed and then it was like a whole thing to get like it's a whole then your thing. account's frozen exactly. for seven days and then like whole i mean which was kind of nice because it got frozen for seven days like right around pay and then like around the like around the time it was unfrozen or I, like a little bit after like we had just gotten paid mm -hmm. but then the next week happened i couldn't spend my money and then we got paid again so like so you're like okay it saved me from not spending. yeah money. like it saved me from not spending but i was pissed yeah you want access the ability to have access to your money whenever the hell you want yeah, so I, that's kind of annoying yeah so just, i also think it's freaking trash that we have to have a bank account like for yeah. work, like we like for, for work, direct, we direct cannot deposit. have any other method of payment other than direct, direct deposit. deposit. It can't be a check or whatever. I was kind of annoyed of how, yeah, things are so online. Like, yeah, it was nice that I got the notification, but then I was kind of annoyed that someone like if everything was cash, then they wouldn't have my stuff. But then if everything was cash, then you would be more paranoid of people like stealing robbing from you. you. Exactly. Robbing you yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, there's pros and cons of this whole like cashless cash. Society. Yeah, exactly. So whatever. I'm thankful that um, I caught it right away. 
because they could my tap is so high i'm pretty sure it's like more than i'm pretty sure it's like at least five hundred dollars so they could have gone on a rampage and i'm sure they were going to once they realized that they could start tapping but then it's like but do you really want to be a criminal on the run like (laughs) because i looked up the actual because it said petro and it had a number on it and then when i googled it showed canada like a canada petro so like yo should i go to their store and pull up the camera is that people are stupid because one you rented the car so the car company already knows who you are then then you went to the freaking petro you're on camera like yeah. you look dumb as if fuck. i really wanted to i could really figure out who the hell could, this person is but the is. thing is if you wanted to it would it would be a police report and that person would be literally getting in trouble yeah so and I, like, I mean kind of want them to be in trouble cuz who the hell do you think you are like does stacy victor look like a name that has money or something <laughs> like i'm sorry I mean, it rings the same bell as Paris Hilton. Apparently. Yeah, I know. Like, they saw black, because the card's black. Like, you thought this was a black card? Motherfucker, it ain't. <laughs> what if I had children? Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, what if I had, what if I was like, that's my last wild. I, I assume these are younger people. No, no, it could be anyone. But who knows? Also, I said I would shout out this girl named Barb because I went, so I went to, um, volunteer at the homeless shelter or shepherds of good hope on saturday this girl that i follow on instagram she posted this registration thing link um to volunteer and she had posted it in december but i wasn't in town so i'm like i'm gonna do it in january she posted again so she did and then i went in and i was making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with this woman named barb from the ukraine well her parents are from the ukraine and yeah shout out to her i I learned a lot about her and also the people that were there majority of the people well all the people were black except for barb she was was a white woman she came from like her yoga class or something and um the 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 people were younger like i could tell that they were younger than me and they were asking like i was saying hi to them and they're like, oh, I like your piercing, your nose piercing. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, I thought I would get a piercing before I turned 30. For literally the next hour, these people were like, you're not 30. There's no way. You're... Bro, they were boosting my ego so high up. Like, they're like, and they were like between the ages of 19 and 25. I love that for you. I love it. And I was like, guys, and they're all black. I'm like, but we're all black. Like, I don't know. Like, do you not see your like, family? Guys, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's they're like, thing. no, like, trust me, it's different. I'm like, honestly, when you're that age, you think that 31 is so old. But look, look, guys, I'm a representation of millennials. Oh, we're not God. that old. We don't look that old. I'm fucking dying. I, when I uh, saw my, for, so Friday, I went to uh, Al's Steakhouse for my birthday. Mm-hmm. With some of yeah, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Um, with some of the girls and um, the so one of my friends, when we walked in, the manager, like I literally opened the door with my friend and the manager's like, Paige? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? And she's like, oh shit, like what's up? Oh, okay, because yeah. you were with her. I thought she, he thought that no, you no, were No, no, I was with, I was standing with her and like, turns out they knew each other, whatever. So, uh. Like, it, it was my birthday. I celebrated with some of my girlfriends. And then they brought me a coconut cream pie. Listen, I don't like sweets. It was it just was crazy. Little, it was a little rough. Especially coconut. I, I mean, that, I was shocked that they did that. But, you know, it was never cute. know. Uh, we got free shrimp. Courtesy nice. of, I think his name is Jeremy. So, shout out. Shout out to Jeremy. Jeremy from Al Steakhouse. Nice. He's the manager. Super chill. Go to Al Steakhouse. I fucking love that place. I mean, if you can afford it, it ain't cheap. Well, I was just thinking, like, I'm looking at your skin and, like, so my problem area is under my eyes. Like, that shit is dry as hell, wrinkly as hell since yeah, forever. No one at the at Al Steakhouse believed me when I said I was And, like, four. you look younger than me, so... When I, I went to Al Steakhouse... I can't believe you turned 34, The though. waitress, crazy. The waitress, the manager, this fucking... One of the hostess, this guy that bumped into me downstairs... Asking me like, oh, like it's your, we heard it's your birthday. How old are you? I'm like, I just turned 34, and no one believed me. And I was like, this is nice. Black don't crack. <laughs> the good black. There's some the black good, that yeah, cracks. I mean, unfortunately, like, if you smoke crack, it doesn't help. You know, like that shit will crack you up. Or cigarettes. Or cigarettes. I find. Yeah, this is courtesy of not smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Drink water. Yeah. 
Drink water, lots of water. Drink and maybe because we're like first generation Canadian, like we're we're close. We're still close to Haiti, you know. I was telling my my boyfriend, I think I think we need to have our kid like somewhere else. What do you mean? And then bring them here. No. Like, I think I need to I need have your, my child need, in Haiti. No, you need to have your kid here. Maybe go br- bring them there, but they need to have their Canadian citizenship by being born here. And then you can bring them wherever and then bring them back. But, but then how does dual citizenship work? Uh, I think dual citizenship is if you, like, have residence there. Okay, well, like, I have residency grandpa- here. So what, if, what if you go on a trip and you give birth? birth? Then I think it's because I think it's wherever your kid is born, but yeah, I don't know about that. I our grandfather has dual citizenship. Yeah, exactly. But like he worked like and lived in the states and here. So, yeah, that's true. I don't know, and he, I know he still has like a residence there. I just don't know what the vibe is. Like I don't know how. But I know works. that having a Canadian passport is like a, uh, it's a blessing. One of the top tier passports. It really is one of the top tier passports. Because I think like. I think Canadian passport ranks number like five. It's yeah, it's high up it's there. And then on top of that, when you go anywhere and you say that you're Canadian, like there's never, never really a have bad. Any problems. Which I'm surprised because lately, oh Canada's been Trudeau's wild and out. Oof. Really been. I mean, I don't want to get too into it. Yeah, but uh, oh. and also I was thinking the other day, like, you know how people have always been like talking about World War Three. When is it gonna happen? Like, it's to the point where some, and and how the States has been, like, the number one country for so long. Like, shit has to switch up at some point. Like, I'm sorry, these other continents are not going to be okay with Bro, North I... America being number one for that long. And I don't even know how Asia is not number one. I looked at the population. They're literally 59% of the population yes. of the world. I Listen. I don't care about all that, and I hope it happens. Just let me die first, because I'm not trying to go through that. Like, people aren't going to be annoyed. Just like the housing market, for example. Obviously, like, it just keeps going up, going up, going up, because, like, the people that have been having houses, like, they don't want the money to go somewhere. You know, they're all the people in power. But once they pass away, like, is that when the housing prices are going to go down? Or, like... Is there going to be a war before that? I don't, I don't even know. I looked up this. I have a, I'm have. subscribed to the Wealth Simple newspaper, and it was saying it was this calculation of um, the, the, the price of a house divided by your annual rent price. If the number is, like, below 17, then it's better to own a house. If the number is, like, 19 or 20, then... either or but if it's more than like 21 then it's better to rent and i believe it's better to rent right now for like yeah anywhere in canada you know what though i I have a girlfriend of mine who was saying how her parent like she was planning on buying and then her parents were like getting on her to buy but the market's so bad right now that she was like it's just not worth it so instead she rented and they got mad at her but she was like financially this is the better decision right now yeah because but they also said though like only if you it rent is only better if you put the difference in money and actually invest it like you can't just be like spending the money though <laughs> So, guys, you can't just be, like, eating sushi every day and going on trips, which I've been eating sushi so much lately. Like, my boyfriend really put me on to sushi. I'm not really a sushi fan. And I heard that um, I went to see Shane, uh, one of, well, I guess our friends. He tore his Achilles Achilles heel. heel. Oh, his pendant. Um, Like, the the whole thing clean. And so he finally got the surgery the beginning of January, I think. And I went to go visit him. And uh, he was talking about some hockey player that I forgot what team, but this young, healthy hockey player had gout in their foot. And he was just like, he was still killing it in the NHL. But every time he would put his skates skates on like it would be so uncomfortable and uh he checked his blood work and whatever or like not blood work but like he did mri mris and stuff and everything was clean and then i think they did his blood work or something and they found out that he had gout because his um his diet consisted of alcohol steak 
like the rarest steaks and sushi. So yeah, you can't be eating that shit. Like you need vegetables. You need a ba- balanced meal, balanced diet. His diet consisted of alcohol, the rarest steaks and sushi. Yeah. Like you didn't want to get a fucking broccoli. Just raw. In there. Everything like, raw. Oh my god. Raw steak? Just raw meat. Ugh. I mean, I don't mind like I like a medium. I, I like steak, a medium. Like, I love a medium rare. Me too, but like raw yeah raw that's kind of gross it's everything raw and also shout out to costco oh, i but- renewed my membership after not having one since so i had my fr- i got my first one in 2020 with my boyfriend i feel like that was our first real commitment i'm fucking dying. and then we didn't <laughs> renew it in 2021 but we renewed it just now and uh we were in that store for like four hours and there was a promo happening uh, at the booth, the phone booth, but it was for Rogers Internet. It's one gigabyte, but it's for new. Like, it's so annoying because you have Rogers right now. No, I don't. You don't? I have Bell. Okay, well, you should look this. You should look into this because it's for one gigabyte and it's, I believe, $45, which is like, no, it's 1.5 gigabytes for $45, which is unheard of. So I don't know. If, I don't know what we have. But it's we probably have, megabytes we have what you have. And it's probably something. Really? Yeah, because uh, when so when mom this uh, when mom went back to like working mm-hmm. like uh reduce whatever on the phone yeah she needed high like higher bandwidth Mm -hmm. so i had to call and get the highest bandwidth they have but with the promo we pay 80 dollars. yeah you should you should switch over to rogers no i will never have rogers again after what they did to me i'm never doing that they do so remember when you still when the internet was still in your name so when we like when it was still in your name and we were gonna switch it the reason i switched to bell is because we were having issues with the internet so I called and I'm like, yeah, like the, um, like I don't know why it's not connecting to things. Like nothing is working. Like mm-hmm. it just kept lagging and stuff like that. And at the time, I was I was taking calls for right. work, and so I called and they're like, oh yeah, you need to upgrade to the modem. That's this new modem and it's more expensive and like it might work. And I'm like, so you can't guarantee that it's gonna work, but you want me to spend more money? Like that doesn't even make sense. I had already switched the modem twice. Before that, because we, I kept having issues. I don't. You don't remember this when this happened around. I kind of like at the remember. beginning of COVID, and like it was a whole thing trying to get there because everything was closed, mm-hmm. and so they were only open during certain hours. I had to go in, swap out the modem like two times, twice. I swapped it out once. They oh, sent us a modem, and then they wanted me to upgrade and pay more money. And I'm like, but you guys haven't even resolved the issue that's here. Like I just want the regular internet so that I have here. So then I was like, I'm good. Disconnect it. I feel like yeah, everyone has a horror story with Rogers. No, I They've been around for so long. I feel like our household has had Rogers also, on and off the so reason many times. That I, the reason I like Bell better is because, so, the way the internet, like, works, Rogers shares their internet within the house, like, between people in the, like, in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So they have, like, a box, and then each box has a, a, a thing that goes to each house. Mm-hmm. But Bell has a dec- dedicated line to your home. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have any interruptions with anybody else because it's only dedicated to you. Interesting. And I'm good with that. Okay. It's fine. I don't care. Well, also, oh, my boyfriend switched to Rogers because he shops around all the time. He is not loyal to any company. Whichever one gives him the best deal, he's going for that one, which I really admire, I admire that about that. him. I could never be me. Because he be switched fr- his phone from Virgin to Kudo, and then he just finished switching it back to Virgin because he, when we got the internet at Costco... For Rogers, there was also a really good deal for Virgin again, so he ended up going back to Virgin. I'm fucking um, but yeah, he will stay with he will he will not stay with anyone. He they don't care about. He's like they don't care about us, so I don't care about. Yeah, I feel that um, like I just don't have the energy to shop around. Call, but it would blah blah blah. No. It does end up. Ha- saving you so much money a lot of people don't do this with like their car insurance their phone their internet i did, I did it with my car insurance last year like oh shit my renewal is coming up um just for what so i was for the travelers insurance? and then i switched to bel-air but i switched because travelers was trying to charge me like an extra 50 dollars yeah, a month so and i was like i've never been even a car been, accident I, have, yeah. I pay on time i've never missed a payment i literally like yeah. 
never been in a car accident, no problems, and you guys are like penalized. They're like, oh, well, there's been a lot of high, high accident in your areas. So jo- Jim Bob gets into an accident. I'm the one yep. forking the bill. I think the fuck not, you yep. trick ass bitch. <laughs> so I switched over to Bel Air. And then if they fuck with me, I will look for something Every else. Every year I, you should shop around insurance for Car insurance is the only one that I'm like, I, y'all are not taking my money like that. Like, I'm sorry, yeah. but I have to draw the line somewhere. And I draw the line at car insurance. Because yeah. I don't drive enough for y'all to be taking this kind of money from me. And also, don't forget to, because I got a notification. I, ha- I guess I had said it two years ago for my license plate renewal. So even I though it doesn't that, cost any money, but you still have I to. I did it last it, year because so. I my my renewal came up in twenty twenty. Oh shit! When did I do it? I'm pretty sure I did it last year. I can't remember. And I did it for two years. For two years. Yeah, yeah. I have a. Re- I, I, anyways, I have a receipt for it. I'll find yeah. it. But yeah. Anyways, clearly you, you should. Um, they they might have like a reminder email. I think they send you a letter. Uh, uh. I think they send you something in the mail. Yeah. All I know is it's free now, and I love that. Well, also... Oh, no- also, did you get your 122 for... Oh, no, you didn't do your taxes. Sucks to be you. We all got $122 maybe, maybe I'll on get, the weekend. Uh, no, I won't get anything, because they're literally penalizing me right now. So. Bro, all I know is I did not know that money was coming. And, and then on us. Saturday, I'm looking at my account. I'm like, where did this... Oh, no, Carolyn texted me, and she's like... It was like a GSP she's like, or HSP. It was like... Um, uh, Trillium, no, yeah. uh... It's called the climate incentive or some mm-hmm. bullshit like that. And like Carolyn's like, did you get your 122? I was like, 122? <laughs> when I went in my account so quick, I wasn't even, my eyes weren't even open yet. It's like scrolling. I'm like, well, I'll be. <laughs> I'll be damn. Well, happy birthday to me. Fuck, I was real happy about that shit. Cause, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get any of those. I haven't. That's so sad. I'm missing out. They'll all get that. them when you finally do your taxes. They'll probably. Yeah, go I guess towards, it'll be. A, it'll probably go towards, towards paying whatever you might owe, but. But I doubt you'll owe that. I don't think you owe that much money. I I know I owe around a thousand dollars. Disgusting. It's so whack. I, I owed believe. like five hundred, and I was so pissed. And so I just did the, I did the like payments, mm-hmm. and then. I was so sad because, you know, when you have a payment thing with a CRA, if they give you a check, they take it. Is that? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So I was actually, like, that makes sense. But I was pissed because I'm like, well, why didn't you just take the money you were already, like, why make me set up the payment plan if, if you gonna, owe me more money right, than you're... Right, than, right, right. Just take what I owe you. Out here taking fucking from the, 100 bucks every two weeks. Like, just take your money and get out. I just thought of the stuff that... I have a payment that's going to end in June. My LASIK, I have a... I did a firm which is a payment plan for a year, it's $86. So that will be done at, in June. And then um, I got a crown in October or November, dental work. And you made they, payment plans on your... No, 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 no. So I paid it up front. And then, th- and then they gave me money back, but they sent it to the provider. So then in December, I called my dentist and she's said oh um i didn't get the check so then but it says that it was paid for so then i call canada life and they say oh we send it to them you need to call you need to call your dentist office so i called julie and julie's like they never sent it to to me but the the insurance is like i we sent it in a like a bulk check for other patients too it's not just for you it's for other patients she's like the check is like seven thousand dollars so then i call back the dentist the dentist calls the insurance and she's like yeah i asked them to resend the check so then i've been waiting for that money because they owe me like 788 dollars so then today julie calls me and she said yeah they sent me the check but they didn't send me the breakdown of who who I owe what to. Oh, my God. So now I need to call them. And she's like, I'm calling you because you had given me the special number. So can you give me that special number to call? Because I've been waiting for two hours and then they hung up on me. So then she's like, don't worry. I didn't forget about you. I'm like, yeah, no, that's okay. So then, yeah, so I'm still waiting for my, like, $800. Um, Canada Life, get it together. Well, that's yep. crazy. Yeah. Yep. Fucking insurance, man. I can't stand them. But that's it for this episode. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Spicy Tales Podcast. Peace. Bye.